Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at the AMD overlay for helping to diagnose problems with your GPU and performance issues such as stuttering, lag, etc. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so today's video is going to be part two of a series of three of looking at how to diagnose problems with your graphics card. Now we start off with NVIDIA, we're now going to be looking at AMD, and there will be a follow-on video looking at Intel graphics cards. So if potentially you've come here, or you've been instructed to come here from our Discord for helping to diagnose your GPU issues, this video hopefully should point you in the right direction of getting the AMD overlay active on your system, and also how to interpret the data, and also how to configure the overlay for your own specific needs. So without any further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so this is our Windows desktop. We're using Windows 11, and we have currently got the latest drivers installed from AMD. I would strongly suggest before you start doing this, head over to the AMD website and use the auto installer. That will install the latest chipset drivers and also graphics drivers for your AMD system. Obviously, if you don't have an AMD motherboard, then the chipset drivers won't install. But for those of you that with an AM4 or AM5 system and an AMD graphics card, this is going to be a great first step. So once you've got that installed, you can then head over into various places. So you can either right click on your desktop and choose to open the AMD software, Adrenaline Edition. Potentially as well, you may have an icon down in your taskbar, which again, you can right click on to choose to open. Or you can use a hotkey. Now, depending on what your system configuration is, the hotkeys may or may not work. So let's open it up normally and we'll take a look to see what is going on and how to configure it. So when you first look into this system, you should end up on the home page. And what you're going to be looking for is the performance tab. So click on the performance tab and this will give you a basic introduction of how everything is monitored on your system. So over here on this right hand side, you can see tracking and the overlay. You can also use this to start logging. So if you want to log data, you can analyze it later. You certainly can do. And here you can choose the metrics which are actually going to be visible in the overlay and also in the actual metrics that are being tracked. So in order to turn on the overlay, click on the overlay tab here. And there is a section here that says show metrics overlay. So click that tab and you'll see immediately we've got the overlay there. So move this across a little bit. And you can actually change or reconfigure this to look how you want it to. So for me personally, I like to show graphs and meters. So if you turn on that toggle there, this gives you a more historical look at what was going on. It gives you the real time figures, but also you can see certain spikes. So GPU activity, clocks, etc. This is going to be handy for diagnosing things like temperature spikes or any sudden dips, which you can then correlate to what's going on on the system. You can as well, if you want to move this around, you can actually change the location using this location section. So top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, or custom. So you can choose your own custom placements for it. And also you can choose the size. So depending on your resolution of your monitor and also the scaling, you can choose that if you want to. Make it a little bit bigger, make it a little bit smaller, whatever suits your particular needs. So we'll set it to 100%, which is the defaults. And also you can choose how many columns are showing. So if you want to, you can have it so it kind of shows you five columns or single columns. Again, choose whichever suits your particular needs. Also, you've got options for transparency. So this is so you can see what is going on behind. So if you've actually got this in a game, obviously you don't want it to block out the information entirely. So if you check the overlay there, that is with it completely solid. If you want it a lot more transparent, then you can choose, again, however you see fit for your particular monitoring needs. Also, you can choose the text color if you want to. So for those of you with a certain visual impairments or depending on the background, you can choose it. Green generally is the most visible for the human eye. So you might want to change it to that, although we're going to leave it set as standard. If you want to find out the hotkey to actually turn this on or off, you can use Control, Shift and O. And that enables and disables it. You will need to do a system restart after installing the drivers for this hotkey combination to work. So control shift and O brings it up. If you're not too sure for other hotkeys, you can go into the hotkey section here. And if it isn't working for some reason, you can enable or disable hotkeys. And you can also use Alt Z or Alt Z or Alt R to open or close this UI. That's enough for that. So we can minimize this. We don't need to see this anymore. So obviously we've got sections here, FPS. 
Now, because we've not got a game running, it's not going to give you your FPS, but if you've got something like Unity in Heaven running, it'll give you some examples, which we'll fire up shortly. It tells you your GPU clocks, GPU power, so if you want to monitor how much power your graphics card is actually consuming, you can do that there. And also temperatures, that's always a good one to do. Something that's actually quite useful as well is your VRAM utilization. So if you're playing a game and you're finding that you're getting stuttering, check your VRAM utilization. If you're trying to use more VRAM than your graphics card physically has, this is going to inevitably cause you latency and lagging because it's got to buffer the memory from the main system into the GPU via your SSD, hard drives, etc. however it works. So that is going to be something to definitely take good look at if you're getting stuttering. Also other things to look at, obviously yeah, RAM utilization for your system, that's definitely going to be a uh, contributing factor. CPU utilization, your frequencies and voltages, etc. Just again, keeping an eye on these is going to be a sensible thing to do if you're trying to diagnose lag and other things like that. For me personally, I would say, depending on your graphics card, when the system's actually running a game, you don't really want your temperatures to be too far over, kind of 70 to 80 degrees. Again, depending on the type of graphics card you're running, some of the newer ones do run very hot and some run very low. So do find out what graphics card you've got and what the expected norms are for that particular GPU. Again, if you're not sure on any of this, head over to our Discord and you can take a screenshot of this, post it into the Discord and we can try and evaluate what is going on and give you some tips and tricks on how to remedy it. So there you go, there is a brief introduction into how to use the AMD Performance Overlay. Hopefully this video is going to be useful to you, especially if you're trying to diagnose issues with your system, be it lag, all those kinds of things, latency. This is a really good place to start. Now, of course, there are other things you can use for monitoring. Uh, MSI Afterburner is a significantly better tool to use, but it does require a little bit more knowledge in actually setting up, whereas this is very simple. Just install it and just press the hotkeys and you're pretty much off to the races. Again, as always, if you're not sure of any of this in the video or you need additional help, please feel free to join our Discord. It is absolutely free and we'll hopefully try and diagnose your GPU issues. So that's going to wrap this video up. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button. Don't forget, if you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, then hit the subscribe button and the channel notification and you'll be able to have future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.